to her. What's up, guys? It's Pistol Pete here, and a lot of people have been asking for a video to show how I mount my contour to my paintball mask. So, finally got around to doing it. Living Legends was this weekend, and I am beat. Uh, and I was sick too. I'm still kind of sick. Um, but I still went down and played. It was a lot of fun. So, first off, it's the Contour HD 1080, 1080p. So, it comes with, you know, whatever mounts you got. This thing that will slide on, and this is what actually attaches to the camera. And then it comes with a mount like this. And what that does is it snaps into it. I'll show you this real quick. So you'd slide that on there like that, and then this would snap on like that onto this circle piece, just the circle piece here. And then it comes with a different one that snaps in like that, and it stays on like that. So I'll start with this one. This one is on the side, so in my last couple of videos, it's been mounted here, um, and I'll explain kind of why later. First off, this is the strap mount, and if you look at my mask, there's no place I can put the strap mount that would be on the side of the mask, okay? So I had to mount it somewhere. So this would be the best spot since there's nowhere to do it here. And what I did was, I've got these slits. This is a V-Force profiler, I believe, and there's these slits along the side of the mask here. And what I did was, I drilled holes into the plastic contour mount and then I just took nuts and I'll try to get this nuts and screws and then I have two here and there's just washers and then and then I put nuts on this side through the holes and it was that simple um, try to find the best uh, angle that will work for you so you know put it on there and see you know record some video and see how it looks um, like with this, um, another thing I do is I take just a wad of paper and you put the paper in here and what that does is, I'll kind of show this, if you put your camera in, you notice it's pretty shaky and when you run around it's going to be shaking around, it won't look as good. So just you can take a wad of paper or put some heavy tape in there and snap it back in and it's a lot less shaky. It'll stay way more stable in there. Um, so what was I going to say? So once it's in like this, try to kind of get a front view of that. Maybe like a whole thing. So that's what it would look like. You want to get angled right. But how this is, if the lens is straight, it's going to be angled a little bit. I know it's hard to see. So what's nice about this is all I have to do is angle it turn the lens this way a little bit and then it's perfectly straight with the mask and how it is uh, when it comes out on video so your video doesn't come out angled uh, I know like with the GoPro why I didn't do that is I know it's got the little swivel thing but this is nice you can flip it so if you do mount the camera sideways you can flip it all the way sideways or upside down or whatever you need to do um, so that that's the one where in my videos you'll see you'll see because it's a 135 uh, degree uh, for the lens. You can actually see this here and you can see the other mount here in the actual video because it'll angle so much this way. So before I mounted this one here though, I used this one right here which I had to uh, kind of custom do. And what this is right here this is from an epic camera and it was the camera I used before I got the HD so what I did was I took this mount and this is for the epic um, and I believe it already had holes like in here I think it had I think it had like two holes here or something like that but if not whatever I just drilled holes in here and did the same exact thing got the washers in there with the screws and nuts on the front and just tighten them up and it mounts perfect um, stays on tight it won't go anywhere I just left it on here even though I'm using this one just because it's not it's not bothering me in any way um, but with this one with the actual mount 
this is the little circle sticky mount thing um, and what I did was this is the little swivel mount from the epic camera and what I did was I sanded this part down you kinda see where it's glued on here um, but it's pretty much the same thing as this end and what I did was I sanded it down so it was completely flat so it would have the most surface area to glue on there and I just use a high temp hot glue gun but um, I should have used like a plastic epoxy and then this whole square thing was actually a different mount from the epic camera that I used as the base for the contour base so I kinda used two of the epic mounts to put the mount for the contour on there and you know I thought about it for a while I needed some sort of platform to get this on here and this big square thing was the biggest surface area to get on there so what this does is this just snaps in like that and so it's gonna look like that when it's mounted and then I can swivel this whichever way I need it um, but usually what I do is this is gonna be straight up snapped in there and then I'll either do it usually left because I'm right eye dominant um, and it might get in the way a little and then you just swivel your cam like that then it mounts straight up like that and I don't think this is adjusted right because I haven't used this thing in forever but it's going to end up looking kind of like that depending on where where you know it is and from the front it just looks try to get a good angle kind of like that and I know it looks like it gets in the way um, of the lens it doesn't get in the way too much um, I'll try to actually adjust it just got it tight as fuck right now All right, so again, like this, I can put it straight forward. Like it can be like this. Um, I can kind of swivel it sideways if I really wanted to. I don't think I've actually done that though. So this is just how it's gonna swivel. So I can mount it, I could do it like that. Again, I've never done that. Um, most of the times in the videos where you've seen it in front, it's something like this. So then when it's on, try to get it. It would look like that. Or, you know, even if it's a little bit up front, it would still look like that. And so you can see the camera when you're playing, but it really doesn't get in the way too much. So that's pretty much it. Those are how I mount uh, my contour to it. Uh, if you are good with like, I don't know, just random um, like fiddling with things, I'm sure you can just find a way to mount yours. I know some people with their masks, they do just put the strap if their strap goes all the way there. Uh, mine doesn't, so I didn't have the option to do that. And I couldn't, I know some people have like a big piece here they can mount the contour thing there. Uh, I didn't have that either with how this lens pops up, so the best spot was right there, and it, I think it works out better uh, because the camera's going to be lower. I just think it. Um, I mean, some people like you watch their videos, and it's they got the camera up here, and it's like pointed this way. They go to shoot their gun, and when they go to aim or whatever they do, it's pointed at their gun, and all you do is you just see their gun when they're shooting. You don't see what they're shooting at. Um, and that's why when you're mounting your camera you want to get the best angle so that you can do both because you can do it pretty easy you just gotta find it mount it the right way and you'll be able to actually see what you're shooting at without just looking at your gun if you're using a main gun or if you're using a pistol you can do it um, you know it's, you can do it this way um, if it's this way and I'm using like an X7 or something it might get in the way a little bit uh, if you're using a hopper the hopper might get in the way of it so find the best way to do it for what gun you're using and uh, pretty much what you want to do with it some people mount it on top I think uh, everything looks higher up I don't think it looks as good um, you can mount it straight to your gun if you're using pistols you really can't do that um, but yeah just just mount it the way you want it figure out a way to do it it's not that difficult and that is just how I mounted the cameras so for all of the people that wanted to see, 
That's how it's mounted. 